I, if this is your first time of coming across my video you are welcome if you're on youtube don't forget to click the red button subscribe if you're on facebook don't forget to follow up this page share comment you understand finally hope Uzodima finally spoke about the first car city in nigeria say how marketers are going to enter save us here in nigeria because also said there is so many companies who are there to give us petroleum you understand he also mentioned that dangote is going to release his pump mm, so that nigeria will start having a lot of fuel so i brought you the video so you couldn't and listen to his speech now let's go down Gentlemen of the press, you are aware that today the Progressive Governors Forum, yeah. heavily led by my humble self, Senator Hope yeah. Uzodima, and my vice chairman, distinguished Senator Obasane, the governor of uh, Kaduna State, we came and had an uh, interactive uh, session with Mr. President and his team. Collaborative meeting. First, to congratulate him for the successful inauguration uh, of himself and also to commend his boost and the way he hit the ground running within three days after inauguration. And also, pledge our loyalty and commitment to work with him promote his policies and programs at our various states and indeed give him the necessary support that will make for an easy realization of the renewed hope manifesto of our great party ABC and we had a quality discussion and uh, we exchanged pleasantries and that is the main reason why we are here. In other words, it's a courtesy call. Well, if you recall, government after government attempted to remove subsidy on petroleum products right from 1990 date. And it has not been 100% successful after all, subsidy has been removed from AGO. And today, 70% of the houses in various metropolis have generators installed for a source of energy. Now, during the presidential campaign, the presidential candidates of all the political parties promised that when the Ajuma office, they will remove subsidy on petroleum products. There is none of no presidential candidate of any political party that did not make that promise as part of his campaign pro uh, manifesto or his campaign manifesto. Now, what Mr. President did during the inauguration, he did not direct that subsidy should be removed. We already agreed as a government and in the National Economic Council that petroleum, subsidizing petroleum products is no longer sustainable. Because for the past two years, we have been borrowing to subsidize. 
And in various meetings, I, for instance, have asked questions. Who are the exact beneficiaries of this subsidy? And I'm sure you, from the media, you may not know exactly who are the exact beneficiaries. And there is none of us here who can fudge the integrity of the implementation programs of the petroleum subsidy allocation. It has gotten to a point that it is either that which is no longer sustainable is managed or there will be no Nigeria. And all of us are committed to the success and unity of the country. So, and in the last budget appropriation, which is law, made provision for subsidy up to June. The president, who have just been sworn in a few days ago, have not prepared any budget. And is under put to respect the laws of the land. And one of these laws is the 2023 Appropriation Bill Act. So by June this year, it is very clear that there is no provision for any money to be used to subsidize petroleum product. So he mentioned what he did from the address, because I went home two days ago to that address, went through that address, and saw that what the president mentioned passively was subsidy, petroleum subsidy is no longer fashionable and cannot be sustained. And we, members of National Economic Council, shared by the former president, President uh, uh, Osiva Joe, the vice, vice president, agreed also to the extent that the former government has concluded the arrangement to take loan from World Bank that will be used as a palliative to be sent to the people of Nigeria as a measure to cushion the harsh weather or inconveniences that the complete removal of petrol, uh, subsidy from uh, by government. So it is not new, and I want you people to help this situation because collectively, only by working together, we can save the country. I thought that what we should be saying now is in the absence of subsidizing petroleum products, how are we going to make this product available to Nigerians to use? All over the world, there is nowhere in the world government is importing petroleum products. And yet we want to be like America. We want to be like Britain. We want to be like France. But these governments, are they importing petroleum products? The answer is no. So what I think we should be doing is to be our own spokespersons. How are we importing petroleum products? The refinery in Cameroon is not working for the past five years. Yet PMS is cheaper in Cameroon than in Nigeria. The refinery in Togo is not working. Yet petroleum products in Togo is cheaper than it is in Nigeria. So you import, subsidized by our government, and then you sell at half the price through smuggling to all these countries, all in the name of ordinary Nigerians. So let us see how best, because the global economic situation today is near strangulation. So every country has taken on a new thinking cap to identify areas of leakages, block them, and build prosperity for their nations. Let us find out how best to use the natural endowment by God in Nigeria to help our people. I don't want to agree that if we don't come out and say petroleum products must be subsidized, that Nigeria will not grow. The thing is pulling the Nigerian economy down and by extension pulling the country down. So we must rise as a, a, a people to support the elimination of revenue leakages in our system so we can grow an economy that will be home-based. In the same manner, we work out ways of making sure that the product will be available through the private sector initiative. So that is my own. I think we are in support of the position of government, the former government. And like Mr. President, who just came a few days ago, when you move into a position, you inherit assets and liabilities. 
I think this is part of the liabilities that this government is faced that they must inherit. So we must join them to make sure the assets are utilized and liabilities are also managed. So we will come and work as a team in the spirit of a new Nigeria and to help support the government that is just a few days old to build prosperity. For. We must not politicize it. I have seen the intentions of this new president. I have looked at the programs he wants to implement. I have looked into his manifesto. Everything I've seen, they are very German. And it's meant to help improve the condition of living of our people. Improve the condition of living of our people. There will be new economic realities. And once every policy, a new policy comes, there are usually this panic. For instance, from May 2019 today, I'm not aware that any petroleum market has imported any product. All the products in their storage facilities are those already imported, subsidized by the government. Why the rush to increase the prices? It is massive humanity to man. So I think that what we should do is to be our brother's keepers and learn how to save the firewood we got during the dry season so we can use it during the rainy season. So, but I think also that as we work towards improving the economy of this country and with the intention of creating prosperity, government will be reasonable enough to look at the reality on ground and address them as appropriate. I have no doubt in my mind that the man who has raised his bond price from 300 or something to 500 or something is creating panic that there will be no product. But I'm also aware that the genuine investors and private uh, pro, uh, public and uh, private people are now working hard towards making sure it, by next month July the Dangote refinery will be on stream and it's a, high, it's a very big refinery that will make products available you are aware that the federal government awarded a turnaround maintenance contract for Potakot, Kaduna and Warren refineries so if within the period these refineries are working products will be available and the market forces will come into play so let us create competition in the market. There is no how any reasonable mind will encourage monopoly anywhere in the world. Let the forces of the market determine prices. Let the mind and supply be allowed to be at play. So those are the things I think we should do. And for our workers, I know the president will have. You know he was the first person to increase salaries in Lagos. So he will not be sensitive to the time and experiences of uh, federal civil servants. But we need to encourage investments. We need to allow business to boom. We need to stimulate economic activities in a manner that prosperity, prosperity will be the, the name of the business. No, after, that is the last one. Yeah. Mm. I didn't say that. I didn't say any I didn't call I didn't call any company's name. I, from my own thinking, deductively speaking, I cannot imagine anybody importing a, a, a vessel of product between 2090 and today and have it available in Nigeria to sell at a new price. So if you're a deductive analyst, where where your thinking come? You will understand what I'm saying. We must be our brothers' keepers.